And uh, what does this signal then for the wider property market? It's quite unusual to get this call by local governments for developers to actually pull down uh, part of their portfolio. Yeah, it's a pretty nervous start to the year, Tom. All of this latest development comes from my local media report. Like you mentioned, in Hainan, Evergrande supposedly told by the local government to take down about 39 apartments there that were illegally constructed. Now, you'd have to say that's the last thing Evergrande needs. Their shares were suspended from trading here in Hong Kong. A statement went out, but they didn't put much more detail around it. There was a spillover effect to other property developer share prices. As you mentioned, there was a, a broader sell-off. And I think it just adds to the jitters around the real estate sector that perhaps the worst is not yet over. We know, by the way, in the month of January alone, our own colleagues have calculated there are about 200 billion US dollars worth of, of payments due from the property sector, covering everything from bond to principal repayments through to deferred wages. And of course, how the whole real estate sector shake out uh, plays out over coming months in terms of falling sales, falling prices and stress on developers themselves will be critical for the wider economy and for China's economic story in 2022. So this latest news out of Hainan re uh, relating to Evergrande is certainly a bit of a wake-up call that the real estate jitters haven't gone away.